got some Wasteland 2 beta here. I'm Eric Watson, the PC editor over at Leviathan, and I have been digging into one of my personally most anticipated games of the year. Uh, for two years now, I believe, the Kickstarter uh, by In Exile started for a sequel to the 1980-something <laughs> Wasteland 1, which is the progenitor of the Fallout series, my beloved Fallout series. I never actually played the original uh, Wasteland. That's a little before my time. Uh, but it is incredibly awesome. Through Kickstarter, they got a chance to make a sequel. And man, this plays like a dream uh, for Fallout fans and CRPG fans in general. Just fucking rad as shit. Um, apologies for these, uh, uh, the black, let's see if I can do that, black bars on the sides. Uh, the beta doesn't actually, at least there's no di uh, display options for uh, 1920 by 1080 so this is the biggest I can actually get it, uh, like on my computer, so it's just, uh, I, I play it in a window, cause multiple monitors, but uh doesn't bother me too much, hopefully it won't bother everyone else. I can move my webcam over if that makes it a little easier, if that looks jacked, jacked up. Uh, and no, there is no Red Boots DLC for 49.95, there's a joke! Just kidding. It is a uh, joke from the Kickstarter, I believe. He made a joke about, uh, you know, publishers nowadays and having to do DLC and blah, blah, blah. And we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm still pretty early on in the game. I've played enough now where I've got a hang of the most of the mechanics and whatnot. I'm about seven or eight hours in, but still incredibly early in terms of the actual uh, story and gameplay. I used uh, four pre-made characters actually, just because uh, they had a bunch of really great choices, and I felt like I could actually make a pretty good team from that. And uh, near the beginning, you know, I should turn down my music too. Actually, it's gonna be loud. Down the master volume quite a bit. Although that stuff is pretty good. Um, you get a uh, Angela Death, who's one of the uh, characters from the first game, apparently. You get her very early on, like right at the beginning area, and she's way higher level than your guys, and I think she's kind of designed to help you through uh, the early game. She's way stronger. Uh, and then I just picked up my first actual legitimate person who's a Native American lady who's good at tracking. Which, unfortunately, I made the leader of my group a uh, woman who's good at tracking, so kind of some redundancy there. Uh, currently, we're looking at the map screen just kind of this interesting topographical uh, area. Not a whole lot of detail there, but it shows you kind of the the zones you can actually enter. And you'll see that uh, it actually costs a certain amount of water to travel the wastelands, uh, which we have in the lower right corner, which I do not have very much of right now. You can stop at various natural oasises, oases, uh, like that one, to, to fill up on water. Uh, we can look at the whole map. And this is not, I believe, the entire map of the game. I think there is at least one other map that's this big. I believe in the game. This is just the Arizona section. Uh, this is a big-ass game, by the way. They've said it's 50-plus hours. Uh, you start off in Ranger Citadel, and then you go to Radio Tower. And from there, you have a choice to go to either High Pool or Ag Center. And what's interesting there is uh, you get an emergency broadcast from both places. They're both being attacked. And if you go to one, you basically doom the other, which I did not quite realize. You know, because you think in video game terms, they're like, you got to hurry. You're like, okay, well, whatever. And then, like, halfway through the quest, you get, like, a radio signal from the other guys that are, like, dying. And they're like, you fucking assholes, you didn't come save us. And I'm like, I, I answered these guys' call. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's, the, that's the harshness of the wasteland. And sure enough, you and I went, actually went over to the place I didn't go to, and everybody was fucking dead. Like, the shit was run over, uh, completely overrun. Like, it was, there was nothing there. It was bad. Uh, but as a consequence now, it's the killer plants. Like, plants come alive and kill everybody. There's an infected pump station. I want to check it over here, which is kind of the... Uh, you get from going here. And then the wrecking crew stronghold I got from High Pool. It's the group that attacked here. I can go there and take these guys out. And then the prison is my next main quest. I have to go there and figure out where my next, basically, place to go is. And there's a side quest I have all the way up here, but, damn, it's fucking far. Rail Nomads Camp, and you don't want to cross this radiation group until you have a good, uh, like, 
uh, radiation suits on, because there's actually a Geiger counter in the lower left corner. So you can click on the thing on the map. Oh, see, there's a spot. Oh, dear. I might, uh... Oh, shit, everybody just taking damage. Might not even want to stay here, then, if it's going to kill me. Those are bad reds. To enter infected pump station. Yes. <laughs> Is this a terrible idea? Yes. So you have to worry about radiation and water when you're going around the wasteland, which is interesting, because Fallout games, you didn't have to worry about any of that except for random encounters. This one does have random encounters, but there is a skill called Outdoorsman. Jeez, everybody got hurt. Uh, you can use to basically run away from encounters. So at, this is the actual kind of game map. You'll enter in, uh, and you can see you just go back to the world map through that. I need to fucking heal this person. Use my med. Great, I got one medic pack left. We're gonna have to just run away and go back to Ranger Center, cause damn. Uh, use pain relievers. All right, that's something, cause we're all hurting. The UI has been a work in progress, but I really like the look of it so far, and I like that I can instantly. Let's see everybody reload. Oh shit, that's right, you're out of ammo for that guy. Three bullets left. The bad thing is having two snipers. Sniper is amazing, but it's also the rarest of the bullets. Uh, it's an overhead perspective. And I love that this is also straight out of uh, Fallout, where they had, or, and really old CRPG games in general, but they actually had the descriptors on the bottom because, you know, graphics just sucked ass back then, and everybody knew it. But, uh, you know, RPG, it's all about the immersion in the world. And so you get that cool, uh, move my mouse, you get that cool paragraph. A small community of shacks built inside the crumbled concrete wall of an old piece of municipal infrastructure. There's a, shi a sign over the front gate that reads, Shiitake Farms. You don't see any signs of crazy plant growth, but something's definitely wrong. It's quiet. Too quiet. I fucking love that. Like, that's great. And there's like that for, like, every object and shit that you, that you inspect. And it's all, it's all usually very tongue-in-cheek pretty good. Alright. If this place is actually, like, irradiated and dangerous, we might have to get the fuck out. But we'll see what's going on. Supposedly they sent an SOS saying that they had killer plant problems. I oh, know. Yep, you're infected. That's, that's not a good sign. Alright, so now we'll see combat. So as soon as encounter begins, it becomes turn-based. All your dudes immediately occupy a square, which uh, we have hidden right now, but the game world is made up of squares. And everybody's got action points. So uh, you can see very clearly on how many action points it will take for me to move uh, with a particular character. Odd person. <laughs> uh, and then the order you get, you don't get to just randomly uh, change guys like a fire emblem. You actually have a certain order uh, based on everyone's speed rating, and that determines their order in which they get to go, including with enemies. Um, it's a little hard to see down here what all they can do, but this number right here is the total action points they have. So she's got seven. It actually costs seven to shoot a sniper rifle, because bigger guns take more action to do. So if I want her to be able to fire at all, I can't do anything but sit there and shoot. I've only got three bullets left, and a 62% chance is not great. So what I'm actually going to do is spend two action points to crouch, which is, uh, it's kind of like works like XCOM where you want to be next to cover, I mean, so there's no cover here, and they'll automatically take cover and they'll actually get bonuses to hit. Um, crouching allows you to do that just in the middle of the field. Ambush is kind of like Overwatch, although it takes your whole turn to do it, but it lets you get a free shot off if they do something. If you end your turn with more action points, uh, you'll actually store some extra for next turn. But it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. It's like one or two action points, you store one for next turn, and then three plus, I think you store two. That's as much as you can get. I love this guy right here, Cold Eye. Uh, he's a sniper, but I also gave him pistols. And he's just been super effective with just those two. Uh, and see, already he's got a much better... He's got a better sniper rifle skill, so he's got a much better chance to hit. I'm just going to go for it. Boom. Damage pretty fucking great. 
So now it'll clearly... Oh, and then the radius. So, uh... This radius appears when you've got a melee weapon equipped. Obviously, you can only attack people in the... Adjacent to you. Uh, fuck, I never reloaded her gun. <laughs> Bad about reloading. The blue means that's as far as you can move and still fire your current weapon with its current setting. Which this is actually on burst mode right now, so if we turn that off, she can move a little farther. And the yellow means that's the m as much as you can move total if all you want to do is move. So if we want to move... Let's see, she's actually got 10 and it costs 5, but she's got 0. She's going to have to reload. And now she won't be able to shoot at all. Awesome. Let's move you over here then. See what you can do. He's got an SMG. I definitely like using everybody having different weapons because ammo is pretty decently scarce, at least uh, early on. Some graphical issue right there. Um, and it helps a lot having everybody use different kinds of guns and uh, ammo types. So you can always utilize everything you find. Fortunately, SMG does not have the best range. And you still can't shoot. Oh, yeah, there's the red. The red circle kind of dips into the land there. Damn, he's just outside of it. Well, I'm assuming he can't run to me either. Let's go here. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go here and then crouch. Nobody's end up getting a shot off. She's got the awesome fucking assault rifle gun. All right, you can move three. Go here and then shoot. Try to get that one off. There we go. That's nasty because that dude literally explodes and will hurt everybody around him if you attack him. And I love this. This is all straight out of Fallout. It even describes all your uh, attacks. Taking carefully and bear pigs of pod first for 12 points of damage, dropping it like a stone. <laughs> love it. All right, everybody reload. I wish it automatically did this, but it does not. And so many times I have begun an encounter and forgotten to reload, and it annoys the shit out of me. Everybody's got things. Yes. And the cool thing here is you can either, uh, instead of having to draw a circle around everybody, I can select one person and hit this button, and it automatically will always group people together. But if you want to separate them, you can hit this again, and then you can separate people as you want. There was one level that I had to navigate through this uh, uh, pipe system, and I had to actually leave a party member behind in order to flip power switches to open each individual room, which was interesting. Uh, the only bad thing about that is every combat encounter, it always whipped back to that person. I just had to click end turn each time. It wasn't really a good way of doing that. Uh, I don't know which way to go. I kind of want to look at these boats down here. Can I walk down there? Sure can. Interesting. Oops, there's more, uh, there's more pod people. So what's interesting here is that a lot of times you'll get the chance, it's kind of a big area, uh, to begin combat and you'll get a free shot off originally. I like to try to do my sniper with that. So make sure he's the only one. See, right now he's got an 88% chance just right here. Even the farthest one he's got an 88% chance. I can crouch him. And I'm not using up any AP to do this. 98% chance. So he can do this and just get a free move out of it. Now encounter will begin. Fortunately, I think everybody stands back. The nice thing is if he stayed crouched, I think everybody stands back up. Probably going to be too easy to just sit there and crouch all your guys. But it's his turn again, so... Take another shot. Boom. And there is uh, armor in certain bullets that can pierce better than others. And this, uh, she's actually a higher level character and a, she's an AI character as well. This sucks. These guys are taking up both squares so she can't do anything. Uh, which means without a proper leadership score, which this person has a pretty good leadership, it gives a buff to everybody else. Uh, the leadership skill buffs everyone around them 
and a lower is their chance to go rogue, essentially, <laughs> losing control of them. But usually when they lose control, they're still killing people, so it's nothing to the world. Can't really go anywhere with these guys. Yeah, he's got a shotgun and a knife. That guy's not doing anything. He's the close range guy. Unfortunately, he's going to explode when I kill him. Oh man, you're going to be out of sniper gun though. This is the bad thing. Let me switch you to the cheaper gun. You've got a big ass wrench. Perfect for fools next to you. I forgot to loot the last guy in there. Mmm, infected pus sack. Sure. There's our perception skill. Let's see if there's anything around here. And there is. What is that? Something is buried here. So we can use somebody with a shovel, this fool. So we can find some loot. Awesome. Bullets are good. And scrap. I don't actually know if that's for crafting or just for selling. So those two. I do have one guy that's, uh... I don't need 5 6 I need the sniper rounds. 30 6 This guy's a safe cracker. 94% chance. I like those odds. Success! <coughs> Hunting assault rifle. Hey, there's the sniper rounds. Seven bullets. That's... That's amazing. I'll take it. Those guys carry the loot. I've got so much loot on me right now. I've been through like three dungeons, or the equivalent of dungeons, and haven't sold them yet. I wonder if that's better than... I only have one person that uses assault rifles, actually, and that's my... Bear. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, if I knew I was getting this NPC person as an extra party member, because she basically literally has all these exact same, like, outdoorsman, field medic, just kind of a general, like, ranger-type character. Alright. She started off with an M1, then I found this awesome frickin' FAMAS. 11 to 14. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Yeah, it's 5 AP, 7 AP. Wow. First shot is even more expensive for that gun. Give it to somebody that can carry it, maybe? Yeah. But the important thing is, we found... Fucking sniper bullets. Yeah! Thank goodness, because we were running the hell out. So you can see the cool uh, character screen here. We've got uh, a little bit of equipment, not a whole lot, that they get. Pants, shirt, hat, and then... Uh, specifically designated armor slot. You know, each buddy has a radiation suit and their water capacity for the map screen, and you can equip two weapons that you can switch between in combat. Inventory is a bit of a Tetris game. Hopefully they'll still have a way to organize it a little more. Then you've got your attributes. These are your main skills. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, charisma. So not quite, you know, obviously the exact Fallout skills, but pretty close. And just in kind of different order. Obviously, a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. Strength for melee damage and health. Awareness, uh, initiative in combat. Coordination is your action points. Intelligence is how many skills you get per level. Uh, speed is your actual movement and initiative. All that crap. And then you have a ton of skills. Weapons alone. This ain't no just small guns and big guns. 
You literally have every type of gun is its own skill tree. Assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, energy weapons, heavy weapons, sniper rifles, and handguns. And then you have blunt weapons, bladed weapons, and brawling. Basically unarmed. There's a lot of weapon skills. General skills, uh, a lot of like dialogue stuff, three different dialogue uh, things you can go with. And then kind of ways to just open doors and get into places. Outdoorsman helps you not get random encounters in the wild. Animal Whisperer can help you solve some quests. And important skills like lock picking, open doors, safe cracking, open chests. Surgeon and field medic, pretty important. Toaster repair, I believe, is a joke from the first game. But I think those are like the best treasure chests or <laughs> inside toasters or something. So far, one thing that bugs me is there's no uh, map from within this screen. There's no way to look at the map in here. Just kind of left uh, searching the old-fashioned way, I guess. Let's see. Oh, there's more pod people over there. Also chests. Let's go looking over here. Spot people are generally not too bad. Even if they explode next to you, they're not doing that much damage. Although if they explode near to all your guys, that's more unfortunate. No, don't walk this way. I don't want to attack you while I'm all. Because the bad thing is, if you're all caught up in here, and your first initiative guys are behind you, then everybody's fucking stuck. I want to cross this thing first. There we go. Mechanical behemoths. Alright. Can't believe you hadn't spotted me yet. Let's crouch and take our shot. Oops. No. <laughs> I tried to move away. Pod person turns its pod studded head towards you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> He's right in my face. Switch to the pistol. Oh, wait. No, you're the. That's right. You're the bladed weapon person. Stab him! Stab him again! You missed. You missed somebody right in front of you. Of course, if you kill him, he's gonna explode and do all kinds of damage. It's gonna be unfortunate. Luckily, we all missed him. <laughs> Everybody's just turned towards him. 100% with the pistol, though. Oh! That was a crit! Jeez, 19 points of damage with a pistol shot. Holy crap! <laughs> Even this guy's like, what? I did put away the sniper rifle, right? Oh, that guy's way the hell out there. And I don't think you can even end your turn. It's kind of like Shadowrun in that way, where the, the game will not let you end a turn if there's dudes nearby. Uh, I mean, I Fallout did that too, but you could try to end it sooner if they didn't notice you, and then like move in real time, and then start it again. I don't think you can do that in this case. And these don't actually provide cover. Bad thing about pistol, though. No fucking range. Everybody spread out. Can you? Oh my gosh. Just barely away. Really? 78. Take it. There you go. Oh, Mr. Shotgun. His other weapon is a sword, so... He's my least combat guy. He's, like, got all the people skills. <laughs> Let me look at him. The goggles, the baldingness, the shotgun in one hand. He, he looks like a people person. <laughs> For sure. So, so far this is just basically a place filled with baddies. He just walks right over. I don't even know if that counts as an obstacle. Oh man, this place is crawling. 
Jeez. Summon every pod person around here. Alright, you could still shoot somebody, couldn't you, with the sniper rifle? You need to get better at sniper rifles, sweetheart. 77% shot at that close range. Really? Yep, you're going to miss. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to assume that one's going to be able to die. So let's shoot this one. So this guy, do your fucking million points of damage again. Jeez, he is awesome. That is kind of how I built my guys, though. Like, he's... Uh... He's pure combat. He has, like, no useful skills outside of combat. Whereas, uh, other guy, like this one, is <laughs> very more useless in combat, but has all those great intangibles. <laughs> Just end your turn. Okay, so here's an example. You've got an SMG, and kind of like Fallout, you can actually change. It's right now a three-shot uh, burst. You can switch it to a five-shot burst. That ups its uh, AP cost from four to six. So I would be able to actually shoot this one twice and the other one only once. So in that case, we're going to actually leave it on the three shot. And he will literally shoot three times. And you can see the total up there and then the smaller ones. Come on. Ah. Not quite. And this one also, I believe, has a, yeah, you can, it's a one-shot burst regularly for five and a three-round for six. That's pretty good. Only one more AP to shoot three more freaking bullets. Um, wow, these guys, pod people don't get any turns, do they? They get all kinds of initiative. In that case, let's go three-round burst on this motherfucker. Oh, but it actually lowers my chance to hit slightly. I didn't notice that. By five percent. Eh, I like those odds. There you go. Ripped him a new asshole. Jeez, 52 damage. Dropping it like a stone. Fucking dropping it. Also, the only thing I don't like, though, is it takes a shit ton of action to reload your gun. It's pretty much not something you want to, like, just reload after every shot or something, like in FPS games. No, you want to, uh... Basically, switch weapons. So here's cool thing about shotguns. Boom! Actual cone. You can uh, hit multiple dudes in here, which does mean if you've got your allies in here, you will shoot the shit out of them. All right. I think there's just the ones that are really far over there now. Let's go ahead and reload that shotgun. Since that only has two in the chamber. Lucky plus one action points. Too bad, I don't really need you. Okay, there's one dude right there. If they're all going to come over here, I might as well just put on ambush mode, actually. See if that does any good. I'm going to put her up here. And put you on ambush. And you're already crouching, and you're in a good spot, so I'll put you on ambush. So as soon as I see anybody, it's a little symbol above their head is the ambush sign, I guess. I need you to get closer. Belch and hack as they pump. It sounds more like death throws than normal operation. Sure does. All right, those guys are going to finally make their way over. Everybody's on ambush. So here we get that little Overwatch XCOM look where as soon as somebody moves, everybody takes their pot shots. And that worked! That guy died! You have to do a damn thing. One guy's slowly coming up here. Six. Alright, snipers, this is pretty much what I have you for. There you go. Can't even see that guy. Can do that for a sec. Oh, on a range. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Ambush him. There we go, sniper. Finish him off. 
Um, there's a lot of pod people. So apparently this place is already infected. I thought I got a radio signal out saying they were okay, and I went right here, like I didn't dilly dally. Something seems to be buried here. You get a shovel at the very beginning of the game too. There's these little areas. You can use your perception skill to see them easier. Yes, sniper rounds. Better than anything else. So good. Scrap I don't know about, but everything else is amazing. Alright, before I forget... Oh, oops, you're... Looting things. Everybody reload. Still says out of ammo for you. I'm let you equip that ammo. Now ah, you can reload. Okay. That's another weird quirk. Uh, and then I need you to reload your second gun. I do wish at the end of combat it automatically let everybody reload. That would be a godsend. Because I forget to do that shit all the time. And it's awful, because reloading takes almost a turn in a lot of cases. Infected heart. That seems like a good thing I have to carry around. Pain relievers are good. That is your med kit, basically. Medic pack and junk. You can flag all this shit as junk. Infected pus sacks. That status effect is. Why do you have my 762? Is that what you use? I don't use 556. Still not the most intuitive system. Can you equip that? There you go. In terms of inventory. Small intake melts out of the fertilizer reservoir. What does using it mean? Pour the serum into the intake valve. Uh yes. There's lost ag center serum. Pump starts to flush it through the system. Logbook updated. Okay. Does that take care of it? Serum containing cure was successfully administered to the hydration reservoir at the infected pump station. Population could not be saved. Sorry. Population went right there. Okay, so I guess that was just go here and do that, and that's it. A little side jaunt. Fortunately, I did not get any water from here, which is a bummer. Although people leveled up, a little uh, yellow bar. It's probably unnecessary. More ammo. Excellent. Caliber is good. 762, I think, is the only one I don't use. I guess there's two different kinds of assault rifle ammo. Medic pouch. Okay. Oh, she's encumbered. Crap. You've got one too many things. Can you give the extra gun to her? I'm not using that one. I think you already inspected that guy. More baddies around. All right, take them mostly out. Inside of the well is coated in large mushrooms. Something about the bottomless abyss sends chills up and down your vertebrae. <laughs> Supposing it would. Railroad spike. Medic packs, yay. Right, let's just group everybody together. I don't see anybody else. I think I'm just allowed to loot this place now. Oh, there's a spot. This 
pipes are kind of annoying for the camera, though. Go, shovel, go. Find me more sniper rounds. I'll take those, too. Pistol and handgun rounds. I haven't found any energy weapons yet, which that was true of Fallout as well. It was more of a late game. Energy weapons and heavy weapons. Although grenades count as heavy weapons, apparently. But I've still only found like one or two grenades. More energy cells. I need to go back to town and sell all this shit. I do like the fact that whoever loots it, you can then actually distribute it to whoever you want at that point. That is very useful. Alright, so I went in a big circle around this area. There's nothing here. Could be bad guys in here, unless I cured them when I pumped the station. I've got way more shotgun rounds than I need. That guy can only shoot twice. Sometimes he never gets used. Like in that last battle, he shot once. Everybody else was flinging off rounds like crazy. Alright, that was just a one-off little dungeon romp. Big circle. Got some more crap. Nobody got killed, which is good. This guy's encumbered finally, because he's full of fucking loot. Flagging everything is junk. Can finally get some money. We might have to make our way all the way back up to Ranger Center. Even though everything else is down here. So, well, I guess I could run back up to High Pool, but... It's actually kind of an annoying long path you have to take to, before you can actually get the... I'm gonna run out of water though, like damn. I think my guys just start like taking damage. See there's the next spot, which is nice, and I'm right here, but it's also like a whole dungeon full of dudes. And I'm at the situation now where I need to just go sell shit. Fortunately it's all the way fuck up here. Well, how far is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Once you look at it on this map, it's not too bad. Alright, let's see what happens if I run out of water. You see dangerous animals approaching your position. Run, 100%. Chance an outdoorsman. Tracking abilities, no match for your skill. There you go. I think I'm going to start taking some damage from ready, though. Almost the oasis. Head. Jeez, another one. So ever since I hit up Ag Center now, I get all these quests about all the plant life. So also, the radio works as your kind of quest giver. You have this uh, ranger radio citadel thing. And you talk to them to level up and to get more quests, and then they'll give you quests throughout. Sending you coordinates. Where is that at? Wow, right next to my position. Well. Run! 100% chance. Sometimes violence isn't the answer. Sometimes. <laughs> Infected farm. Now I wonder if this farm's always here, if this is kind of a random thing like the pump station. Yes, yeah, what the hell. We're not that injured. We're just loaded down with junk. I need to try to unencumber that one, dude. Alright, I like the looks of these maps, though. It's really cool. The one bad thing about Fallout is it's all fucking, like, browns and greens. full of so much crap so much crap 
give it to somebody else. Will that unencumber you? Yes. Oh yeah, and some people leveled up. So call. And there is some voice acting, yeah. Thank you, sir. And uh, the cool thing is they fully heal when they level up too, so you can actually kind of use that strategically. Like in Skyrim. <laughs> like I'm going to wait till I'm really fucking hurt. Although, you can't use it in the middle of combat. <laughs> Hang on, guys. i got to level up a second. Everybody stop killing me. So you get a certain amount of skill points when you level up, but you can see that like putting a sixth point into Assault Rifle will cost me all four of my skill points. So going higher certainly is more expensive. Frankly, I'm interested in increasing her healing abilities as well. Let's get field medic at two and surgeon at two. So you're my medic. Who is the other one? Vulture's Cry. Which is the one that's unfortunately got pretty much the same weapons. You need to be a better sniper, though. I'm going to put all two of them there. Rats. You know, I should save my game. I saved it in a while. Wow, that's cool looking. Just kind of a destroyed highway right in the middle. Try wasteland is less just green than plant life. Probably a bad sign. Pour in the serum. Yeah, there's giant ass insects. Oh, I can see uh, a cow. Is that an evil cow? Oh, it's a regular cow. There are pod people, though. Good old pod people. Wow, so there's uh, those fucking guys. It's more interesting, I feel like, when you're fighting gun guys, because you can take cover and maneuver around and stuff, whereas these guys are all just going to run at you, so... It's a little less interesting. Everybody's fully loaded. Sniper's got the same chance. Might as well hit that one. He's farther. Bzz. Other sniper. There you go. 84. It's much better. Got one more point made a huge difference, actually. Boom. He likey. Oh, damn it. Weapon jam. God, and that takes up her AP and it takes six on jam. It's... Terrible. Ah. Uh. Should just conserve more than that, probably. Terrible. Oh, sorry, cow. <laughs> You can use animal whispers on the cows somehow. Cows, destroy my enemies for me. I wonder if I can run up here with a shotgun. Aha! Look at that. Get the fly in the back. Yeah! Superfly is hit with hot lead, inflicting six points of damage. <laughs> Man, this place is totally taken over. Oh, damn it, there was a crate in the way. Lame sauce. You. Interesting. Harder to hit the flies closer than it is to hit the pod person in the back. I guess giant insects are still kind of tough to hit. Uh, let's try.
try hitting this guy. There you go. So I assume somebody else. You still gotta jam your weapon, damn it. Or. Let's see. Switch to this guy and just take him out. This way. Nope. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Swish. <laughs> There you can see the little cover symbol. So if I move there, she should get a bonus to hit. Yeah, 92% now. So being in cover actually helps you hit. Boom. At this point, I would just ambush them, I think. Well, you can still move up a little bit. Sniper! Dude is worth his weight in gold. I totally recommend a sniper. Although only the one. And if you get the chicken high pool, she starts with sniper points, so. Because those bullets. Not very common. Oh! <laughs> she nailed that cow right in the head. Poor cow. Alright, unjam your damn gun. Unjammed! Can you still shoot? You can. You got five. Hell yeah. Really? Son of a bitch. That's supposed to be like a 3% chance of happening or something. Golly. Ambush. Ambush him, SMG guy. Boom. Did not ambush him nearly hard enough. Hit two out of three. So many pod people. Oh man. Will you sawed off or just switch to Sickle. Sweet sickle takedowns. Although it's gonna explode my face. Splash. It's the only way these guys do any damage to me is their damn exploding. Crap, he still has a shotgun blast in him. Alright, sniper, you are gonna go through all of your sniper bullets. Jam! Course! Of course. God, and it takes up your AP. That's the worst. It takes up your turn, and then it basically fucks you next turn. Weapon jamming is awful. Finish him. I get like two turns there, one. That's what makes these battles so easy. Unjam. Oh, yes. Unjam, please. Are you jammed, sir? Wow, one of those three. Hit him. Can you run up to him and smack him? No, he can't. He's got a rusty pipe as a second <laughs> weapon. That's right. Jammed your fucking gun, too. One hit point. There you go. Is there a dude left back there? Must be. I don't see any dudes. I see cows. Do I have to murder the cows? by the building a bit. Let them come. Oh, he's right behind. 
behind the fucking cow. Cow's in range. Sure, she's gonna murder the cow. <laughs> Close do I need to do to be able to shoot him? That's as close as I can get. 62 is not great. Wow, this is Jam City. Wow, he's actually at a sniper range. Jeez. You are out of sniper bullets. Both my snipers run dry. That's how long this. Really, you don't have any more. Uh, great. Oh, murdering cows when she goes crazy. <laughs> Jesus. Death shots. I can actually move. Oh, that's right, I crouched you, damn it. This battle's taking forever. There we go. So many pot uh, cows are worth zero. You monsters. Concept too, you can actually automatically loot everybody around you. I'll just pick up all their crap. I assume that was everybody in the damn area. Wait, that's not a tree, that's a cauliflower. Hey, there's a spot I can dig up. Actually, go in there. So then I can treat the irrigation system and save these people, even though they're already all dead. I've still got three or four eggs in her serum, so I can still do a couple of these quests. So I guess it is good to go to the egg center, even if you can't save it. Oh, you can get up there. How do you get up there? Oh, you can climb the damn ladder. Look at that. Yes. Sniper bullets. Is he too far though? Nope. I'll take him. Pain reliever. To her. Fade finds lock. Fade opens lock. Reckon that's safe. Sickle, I don't even know if I want to carry you. So much crap I'm carrying. If you can carry another thing. Even more loot. Another handgun. <laughs> Although they actually make really great second weapons. That guy. He's encumbered now. Too much crap. I think there's anything else in this area. It's just this one zone. Another safe, sweet. Definitely gotta have a safe cracker. I've actually found a ton of safes. Devile. And so far, just having a two or three level skill has been able to open 
everything except one thing I found was hard and I had like a 14% chance. That annoys the shit of me if I can't open something, so I always have to have somebody that's got that skill. Alright, everybody encumbered. Oh, just one. I think that was it for the whatever this area was. One off little mission. It's a really cool looking map though. This entrance is badass. Just running into this destroyed highway. The Wasteland! Give us water, please! Full 60! Alright, so what we're gonna do... Actually go back up to Ranger Citadel. See dangerous raiders approaching. Run. Okay, it looks like just having a couple points in outdoorsmen will save you from most of the Whoa, what is that? A cat whoa. Interesting. Loot. Oh wow. A hidden cache. Look at that. I wonder if that's outdoorsman skill too. You just find treasure on the map. I didn't even know that. Nice. Fucking armor. Requires f oh, I don't think any of my guys have five strength, actually. Huh. No. But I can sell it, maybe? I wonder if I can up their armor at some point. Sell all this shit. The way shit just kind of pops on the map like that, too. It's nifty. Ranger Citadel. You can't even actually go into the headquarters itself until you complete, like, the first main big mission, which I guess I'm still on, which is to go down to the lower right and go to the prison. Okay. He uses Animal Whisperer on Aberforth. The animal is drawn to you. Ultra's Cry now benefits from Devil Eyes. I have no idea what... No. Plus one awareness. Cannot be removed. Alright. Sounds good to me. Just follow me. Yep, sure does. <laughs> Get a whole army of goats. Uh, yeah, I sort of saved it, and also all the people were pod people, so there's that. Luckily, there's a merchant right at the entrance. Sell all junk. It's three hundred seventy-two dollars worth of shit. Get rid of it. You can also have my extra shotguns. You can have that shotgun, this sickle, this nail on a board. I wonder if I should save this goat hide armor. It weighs eight pounds, though. I have an empty vial. She should have the least extra shit. What's that one key? I still have four of those eggs in her serums, so. You have an extra 38 automatic pistol. A flyby. Oh, I think it has some usefulness for moves. Flyby, yeah. Sell, sell, sell. So much shit. Look at that. I got 
so many extra shotguns. Just a straight up extra sniper rifle. Another handgun. Just do shit for damage. But the idea is you can actually shoot them multiple times. They have such low action point cost. I kind of just should sell some of this extra shotgun shells too, honestly. He's got 40 and he shoots like two at a time. I might keep that one pistol. Wow, you've got two M14s. I might keep one of them. Railroad spike, infected heart. You, you can have all those. Fly legs. Have a can of tuna. Got so much shit. Thank God I'm selling all of it. I can get things now. You've also got an extra freaking hunting rifle. Oh, you know what? I could give her the damn extra M14. Same there, you can no, you can't take it back. Oh well, I have another one, another character. Yeah, he's got it. All that is only three hundred and thirty three dollars. Jeez. You're breaking my balls, sir. Breaking my balls. That's eight dollars per sniper rifle round. That is insane. Goddamn vendors. You bend me over a barrel. Uh, what else do you have? High powered scope. Requires five weapon smithing, though. So, yeah, it's totally uh, crafting. There's a weapon smithing skill, and this lets you attach mods to weapons. Which it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of weapon variety. It's like, here's this tier one sniper rifle, here's a tier two sniper rifle, tier three. Which uh, which means you should be able to mod a lot more because you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna find a, like a better weapon uh, as often I think armor might be good four hundred and ninety bucks a person for three armor that's good though just buy armor and ammo I don't need weapons steel plate armor tactical scope requires three weapon smithing. Um, that's pretty good. Plus four max range. I think the one guy does have three weapon smithing, or he might have two and be able to use it pretty quick. Two hundred bucks, though. I think three of my people have armor, the other ones do not. How much would it take for three armors? More than I can afford! Fuck you, guys. If we get two armor, that's almost all my money. Awesome. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's good too. 10% chance to hit with light weight. Uh, the other thing, I really think I've got enough ammo of everybody's except sniper. Oh, you know what? I can sell my 762 because I don't use that shit either. These guys both use 556. That much fucking money, though, bastards. I know this is exciting to watch live stream. Just the, <laughs> the trade. Oh man, that's so much money. Twenty would be amazing, though. Nine ninety-five, I can pay that. I was actually more ammo types. Forty-five caliber, nine millimeter used any of that. So keep the 556. There's more 762. Yeah, I got a ton of 38 caliber actually. 51 for that one. And uh, he's got 15 for his midnight special. 20 sniper bullets will let me go a long way. And then what else? She's got Surgeon 1. It's 50% of Con during recovery. It's 10% of Con upon recovery. Con is life, obviously. Actually, I've got 7 trauma kits. 5 med pads. I'm doing pretty good on that. 
Maybe I will splurge and go for the mods. Maybe not the high powered scope, but the one that was 100 bucks less. Tactical scope or lightweight. Uh, lightweight's expensive too, 270. Ooh. Heavy weapons, M2. 4 to 6 damage. It's just a straight 10 shot burst round. Takes 556. That is a minigun, essentially. So, what do you have to have? Uh, heavy weapons training. It's actually the guns are cheap, surprisingly. It's the ammo's where they fuck you. <laughs> Once they sell you the gun, then you gotta have the ammo, and you're just fucked. Head rooster cigarettes. Where the hell is the. There we go. Tactical scope. One of them is 196. 1190. That's all my money. Everything I just traded will get me two leather jackets, 20 sniper rounds, and a tactical scope. Lord, Lord, Lord. I've got $81. Goodbye. Time to distribute various armors. And we'll probably give it to our guy that I assume are going to be close range more often. Slick. Actually, she's got a bladed weapon as her second gun. I could give it to her. He's got the rusty pipe. And then who do I want to give the... Oops. Probably mod her gun. Well, I don't know if he has level 3. No, I think he's got level 2. Yep. Alright, so next level up we can use our scope. Get the fuck out of here and do something. Is that goat still following us? Hell yeah. UNS goat. I guess there's no way to rest either. I think you have to talk to a healer person. I don't know if there's a... You can't actually go inside there. Don't think you can actually just heal. I have to go back to high pool and fuck that because you have to go through this big ass area. Well, that means now... Could go north. Or to that Rail Nomads camp and do the other side quest if we can somehow get around the radiation. Or just walk through it. I didn't take that much damage, actually. If that's what I was worried about. That shit's far fucking up there. It's an early side quest you get, though. See how much damage we take if we just run through. Let's fill our water up first, though. And that used to not be 100%. I don't remember putting more points into outdoorsmen, so maybe this area just has easier guys in general. See my Geiger counters going off. Alright, let's see if we take any damage here. 51 health. Whoa! 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 Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna reload my game. <laughs> that was not the right thing to do. This place is covered in radiation. You are not meant to go up here. Can you end up going around? No, I don't think you're meant to go up here then until you get the rad suit. It looks like this place is just fucked up. Great. I think one of our guys is unconscious from radiation. Uh, hopefully I can load my game from here. So that's why I didn't go up there the first time, is it was radiation covered. Shit. Oh fuck, that goat does follow me. That's hysterical. Goaty! Look at that, everybody's almost just totally dead. That one dude is just like, nope, fuck radiation. Alright. 
What was our autosave? I fear that that autosave was just this second. Ah, uh, we'll see. Maybe it was leaving the Ranger Citadel. So do not run in radiation. Shit is serious business. So you're not meant to go up there until you get radiation suits then. That's what it's telling me. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect autosave. Alright, so fuck that area. Let us instead, I guess, go to the Wrecking Crew Stronghold is the next place we go to. See if we'll get another quest or something on the way. So many things. Better stop at the Oasis. Might as well. And it's there, I believe. You know, the more I'm on this map, the more it really grows on me. Just the aesthetic of it and the way things like pop up on the screen and the words etch in there on fire. I wish there was a, uh, I wish the random encounters popped up the same way and like a bad guy just like flung up there like a cardboard cutout or something. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Instead of just the uh, thing that pops up and says, you've had an encounter. Their stronghold is a radio tower. So this is the quest after I saved uh, High Pool from a, uh, it's apparently, it's a, you have a choice between going to a dam and an agricultural center. The agricultural center got taken over by plant things, and that was a lot if you've been watching the stream. Uh, a lot of the side quests I've been doing is uh, kind of aftershock little side quests that deal with that. And then the High Pool one, you just save them from regular old raiders, but they're called Wrecking Crew, and they're like this you know, the warrior style, where they all have, like, construction tool equipment and shit. <laughs> like a themed gang. And apparently this is their main stronghold base, so the follow-up quest from them was, hey, go take these guys out in their base. So this actually could be... Hey, and he leveled up. Nice. Uh, this could be quite the adventure. If this is actually a giant, like, dungeon filled with bad guys. Or maybe it's a hub where I can talk to them. We'll see... They have heard of me. They will kill me on sight, though. <laughs> I've murdered a ton of them. And I've got the goat. Got the goat, motherfuckers. All the confidence in the world with goatee. And digging shit. Definitely keep that shovel on you. Still don't know what to do with scrap. Okay, so now that you're... Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger. Echo One, I believe... Pull up. Field I do deserve a field promotion. Thank you. And I'm going to put my points into weaponsmithing. Thank you. Alright, so now I can use my... Tactical Scope. Plus range. A barrel of monkeys. Attach the mod. I think we want to give it to... Assault rifles. I really like this weapon that she's got. It's got a 20 range, which is pretty great. Uh, but with her skill as a 5, she can take advantage of it being even greater. Yes. Now there's a plus sign next to it, and you can see here when you actually uh, examine the gun, uh, it's got room for four different uh, mods barrel, under barrel, uh, scope, and the magazine, and different things. Uh, melee weapons will even have ones for, like, grip and handle and shit, so. I forgot you could strip stuff down. That's interesting. Choirs. wonder what kind of parts those gives you. Oh, I need to reload, don't I? Everybody reload your guns. Synchronized reloading. Somebody out of ammo? That's why we do these checks, people. That's right, you are out of ammo. You need 556. You can just take all 30 of those, I think. Oh, I need to redistribute my sniper rounds. I never did that either. Give 10 of them to her. I don't know why 
why you have to equip ammo, but you do. Otherwise the game will be like, you don't have any ammo. And you're like, no, I do. Okay. Okay, everybody's... Fuck, you're not, though. Equip. There, alright. There. Everybody's <laughs> fucking take care of. A lot of little uh, tedious things, I'd say, is my biggest complaint. That uh, you shouldn't have to be worrying about. I feel like a lot of people that like this kind of game, like me, can kind of give that a pass. But uh, people that have maybe a passing interest, I think that shit will just drag it down. I wonder if there's going to be a fight in here. Oh yeah, these guys are already red. Look at this. And I bet I could get up here and snipe them, maybe? And there's a ladder up here. I'm liking this. It's like a paintball arena. This is just going to be one giant... Oh my goodness. The crazy thing is most of these guys are actually melee, I think. Holy crap. This is going to be insane right here. Alright. Let's see how much sneaking around I can get away with. Put the snipers up here. <laughs> the goat's going to follow the snipers. here before. Nobody notices me. Okay. I have three chin chance to hit that guy. I'll put these guys in a good spot first. You up here. You up here. You. Oh, you're my leader, though. Okay. See, so haven't entered combat yet. I got the chance to set all my guys there are dudes just all over this place though that guy's gonna be the worst though he's got a gun and he's just way up there at the top I'm gonna have to rely on the snipers if I can Aberforth he's got one hit point guys are already pretty much pressed against the wall. Alright, I kind of like this grouping. We'll see if this works. Let's go ahead and crouch. Can you actually shoot? Whoa, camera. Yeah, I could. 73% chance. Good to know. Alright, you're going to take this fucking guy down. That's the opening shot. Shots fired. Yep, all their taunts. Alright. This actually, uh, there's no cover up here, unfortunately. 93%. There we go. That guy's out of the picture. This would be actually a great spot to run up there. And then take cover. Ooh. Fortunately, they cannot even leave this spot, so I kind of married them to this location. It's okay. If I can take a shot at 73, I like that. Nope, didn't get anything. Let's go ahead and end the turn and conserve. And then what can these guys do? Sight blocked, though. Oh, yeah, you can't see shit. Hmm. Can run around to that side. Really? Seems like he'd be in range. So you can't actually be touching the red, maybe? Curses! Put you on ambush mode, then. Ambush him! Thank you. Shit, they're all gonna get to go. Those guys are all faster than some of my guys. Damn! You just got lit up. He's in cover, too. You 
are about to get fucking bursted all the hell. So, oh, well, I was gonna have four hit points. Never mind. Still gonna get a little bursted. <laughs> Asshole. Fortunately, I believe it takes four action points to use an item in combat, so I won't be able to do that. End your turn. Although Bear can run up there and heal him. And nothing else she can do. Although that leaves her out in the open, which kind of sucks. Medic! Plus 12. Ugh. It's not great. Uh, for that leadership to work, she has to be like right next to him. Excellent. Climb off your good yeah. fortifications. Damn, they're all... This is the biggest map I've ever fought on. This is insane. There's no really where for me to go. One dude hadn't even had a turn yet. Let's maybe just hide right here. There's no ladder up there that I can access quickly that I can see. I think you're designed to have to go all the way in the back. It's like they designed this fortress against people attacking it. Today is a good day to die. That goat's not doing shit, by the way. Damn it! Clever asshole. Just out of range. It's alright. No, it's not. You're gonna weapon jam. At least you can crouch now for two. There you go. You can hit him though, you're that much closer. Yeah. Which one is this? Angela, you're gonna switch to the hammer time. That does not jam, does it? 100%. Wow! Angela Death's bu- <laughs> There's a little bug. Bullets rip into Wrecker for 44 points of damage, splashing everything in the vicinity with a streaming viscera. That's awesome. Didn't use bullets, though. I hammered his ass with a wrench. 90% chance, and you missed. Oh, I have so many short-range guns. Well, the SMG and the shotgun guy are useless in this situation. Expecting more guys to run at me. That's really not the case right now. He's in Overwatch. The other guy's running around, and that guy's in Overwatch. So eventually I will... I guess I have to run up this way. Is that guy gonna get a shot at me? Nope, good. You get into cover, and then you should be able to shoot him with your increased range mod. Go! Yeah! Sending him pinwheeling to the ground. He literally did do a little flip there, too. That was nice. Shotgun guy, you still can't shoot anybody. I'm gonna leave you on. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you on ambush. Oh, uh, your weapon's jam. That's right. The worst takes out two turns. This goat, by the way, is not doing shit in combat. <laughs> Although to be fair, he's not exactly doing anything up there anyway. Silly goat. 100%. I like those odds. Alright, so what is up now? We've got that guy and that guy. So as soon as I move, I'm going to take some damage. But there's nothing I can do about it. He already did his damage now. 
Maybe. I'll catch yeah. him now. What? Oh, can he shoot me? Hopefully not. This turn is a your turn. Also can't do shit where you are. Run, fool! Yep, that sniper is not far enough. These guys have finally outlived their useful spot. Come on, goatee. Take way too long to move spots. Yep, not quite. Fight will be over by the time they move. Alright, and there's no reason to go this way unless you're going around. Which you could, but I don't want to split my guys up that much. Jeez, I might as well just charge heedlessly forward. Oh, I didn't realize the path up was there. Damn. Uh, I don't know if I'm to charge with you. You don't have a whole lot of life, sir. And their turn's gonna come next. Although I can maybe... Well, yeah, let's use a pain reliever. Sweet, sweet pain relief. Heals for damn near nothing. Just conserve your shit. Sight blocked. Um, let's see, you shoot him from here. Yes, thirty-seven percent though. She actually does have a grenade. Uh, it costs six. I don't like that thirty-seven percent. All right, move for three and then crouch. How about that? Right in the middle here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. I don't know where that guy's going. S snipers, useless for the final part of this battle. I've taken shits bigger than you, sir. So don't even right now. 100%. Too bad nobody else will shoot him though. 25%. Meh. Nah, have an excellent chance of ripping that guy apart. Once again. Crouch because it's safe. I can't even see him. Son of a bitch. Oh, I meant to... Damn it, I moved. Not nearly as much. Uh, you can move. That's right. Getting up kills you, too. Ah, that sucks. Yeah. It's still worth crouching, I think, because you get that kind of cover. Oh. Where are you shooting at? Oh. Well, my snipers can respond in... Oh, never mind. 23%? Really? I guess that's the elevation difference. Damn, that's harsh. I need to climb up here, then. But not this turn. Can serve that for next turn. Still can't even have a chance. Camera does not like being backed up against this wall. For the Rangers! Yeah, you did. Shotgun guy. I don't think you fired once. Yep, I 
like that move, but you're not going to be able to shoot at the same time. Huh. Took them like four turns to get in this awesome position. Although you could fire your pistol, but it's not in range. Alright, whip this thing around. Yeah, this one guy is just in the worst possible spot. Three round burst, 51% chance, do it. Jesus. <laughs> or weapon jam, that's that's good too. Alright, at this point the snipers will actually be able to help me. Let's just end your turn. Oh no. Why are you losing control back there? One hit point, end it. I swear I thought he was gonna weapon jam. Oof, that was a lot of wreckers, but honestly, not too bad. Wow, six or seven of them at a time. Well, I wonder if that counts as looting their whole damn place. What are you doing? this live stream to a close. Just took down a whole stronghold of wreckers. Although there might still be more. Don't know. Wait, why didn't I get my shovel? Oh, shovel go. I'm going about an hour and a half. Sniper rounds. Gold eyes too, that's right. Let's take it all for now. Whoa. Never mind then. Person's too far away. Can I loot this thing? Perception skill helps you like find shit you can loot. There's another thing I can unearth. Safe cracking time. I don't know if it still goes over this way or what's the deal with that. Well, that is the worst safe ever. A whole bunch of junk. I think this was pretty much the strong. Although I didn't see my logbook get updated. Okay. They were well entrenched, we hit them hard. Between the losses they took in High Pool and now in their base, we probably won't be hearing from the wrecking for some time. Folks in High Pool will be happy to hear about it. Alright, so that was the uh, stronghold. So it seems like a lot of these areas are maybe just one map, kind of one encounter deals, instead of being like large uh, dungeon excursions. I think they saved that for the main story events, which I'm fine with that. I mean, every side quest needs to be. Uh, hugely involved deal. So I need to go back to High Pool and tell them lands are even more safe with the rangers abound. So much loot. Still have my goat. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and call this stream to a close. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing Wasteland 2, I will probably end up streaming some more. Uh, just periodically throughout the summer, so be sure to follow uh, Leviathan TV, as I'll be doing all my main streaming there. I am Eric Watson, the PC editor over at Leviathan. You can follow me on Twitter, at Rogue Watson, and uh, be sure to keep up with Leviathan for all E3 news, as well as every other video game website, because 
E3 is almost upon us at the time of this live stream. Uh, exciting stuff, but man, I am pretty super happy with uh, Wasteland 2 and the way it plays right now. Giving me everything I want with tactical uh, action points and all these cool maps and stuff. Very, very cool stuff. But uh, see you guys later. Uh, definitely give us a follow at Leviathan TV and also on our YouTube for more awesome videos. And I'm doing most of them, so we see more of me. <laughs> all right, guys. Later.